Hello, ASL community. As you might remember, in the last episode, I promised to show you the Audi Productions first t-shirt. Are you ready? One, two, uh, well, three. Well, do you guys like it? Yeah, ASL power. I'm Audi, this is my name sign, and you are watching that vlog. <laughs> Welcome to that vlog. I was recently chatting with a friend and he had asked me over in Italy, what are the different signs for their cities? Now, if you're wondering why he asked me this, well, it should be obvious, I'm Italian, right? No, but actually I did stay there in 2011 for five months and I learned a lot about Italy and it was an amazing experience. Actually, maybe you've seen some of these episodes already. Uh, if you have, I was making these while I was living in Italy when I actually started that vlog. And some of these clips are some of my best examples that I've done of personification, uh, including Bus, the Colosseum, and a few others. And so if you haven't seen some of these yet, I encourage you to take advantage of that and click on the link in the description below. Anyway, back to the point. So my friend's question about Italy's signs for their different cities. Well, first of all, I should let you know that in Italy, they have regional variances among their sign languages. And of course, that's only natural. So be advised that when I'm showing you these different signs, if you saw it somewhere else, you might be right. It kind of depends on where you're at in Italy when you're looking at their specific sign for their city. But with my experience of socializing with everybody there, but actually, before I get into the discussions about the names of each of the cities, uh, let's back up. We should have a short discussion about Italy's sign language as a whole. In Italy, they call their sign language Lingua de Signi Italiana, or Lis. But Lis. But I, I don't see an A written out here. Why is that? <laughs> well, in Italy, their production of S is made by doing our A handshape. So the L's are the same, the I's are the same, but their handshape of A actually means an S, which is why it's called lease. If you'd like some more information on lease, you can look in the description below, and I've got a link there that you can click to find out some more. And FYI, this picture you see at the top, these double threes, the meaning of those is actually their sign for sign. That's how they produce that word. In America, you know, whenever we talk about signing or signing, in Italy, they use threes to make that same meaning. That same gesture means sign. Or you can comment like, I'm chatting with somebody using that three hand shape instead of the five hand shape that we use. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the sign for Italy. Here's the sign, Italy. And the reason is because it matches that shape of the boot of Italy. So you might be wondering why sometimes why I sign Italy with my pinky finger and other times you'll notice that I sign Italy this way and why I switch between those. Well, that's a discussion for another time. But if you'd like to see that discussion, show me your comments down in the description below. Now, Milan. Here's a sign for Milan. And the reason for that is that you can see their famous cathedral towers spiking up into the sky. It's a very iconic image. And for any of you that love ASL community history, well, it's important to know that sign for Milan because you might remember what happened in Milan in 1880. Now for our next famous city, Rome. No, I'm, I'm not asking you you're Rome. I mean, that's their sign for Rome, Rome. Weird. Anyway, the reason that that is the sign for Rome is because you might have seen a very famous phrase related to the city, which is all roads lead to Rome. Meaning if you've got a road that's going this way and another one that bisects it, where they intersect is how you get that sign for Rome. And by the way, Rome is where I filled one of my absolute favorite episodes, the most colossal that vlog ever, where I personified the Colosseum itself. It's really amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a description in the, you, you know what to do. <laughs> Okay, and our last city for this vlog is Naples. Now, if you're wondering why that is, well, I, I don't know why they sign it that way. I asked a lot of people, but it seems that nobody really knew exactly why that got started. 
However, there were a few ideas, and I liked some of the jokes they made about the city of Naples. And there's two famous known reasons as to why this might be called Naples. The first is for their sauce. In the city of Naples, they're very famous for making their red sauces, which they make in a variety of pastas and other meals. Now, while you're cooking that sauce, you have to make sure that you're constantly stirring the sauce, which is, might be where that sign comes from. So that's one possibility. The other one uh, is a little bit more unfortunate, but very well known, is that Naples is infamous for pickpocketing. Meaning that you've got to be very careful that when people are coming up to you, there is a chance that they might be stealing from you. So that sign that represents Naples might be pickpocketing. Well, I think that's enough for this episode of that vlog. I've got a lot more Italian signs, which are really cool and amazing, but I think that's enough for today. If you'd like to see more of those signs, let me know. Comment down below this video, or if you prefer, you can do a video response and upload it to YouTube. Take that link, put it down in the comment section, and I look forward to watching it. Oh, right. And if you enjoyed that vlog and you'd like to see each new episode without missing one, you can go to my website and subscribe. You'll get email notifications to let you know when we've got new episodes. And really, this is the best way as YouTube subscription service isn't always the most reliable. So I really recommend using this website. Oh, and down below the video in the description, I'll have a secret link for you. So I hope you guys enjoy that video. Oh. And if you want to see last week's episode of that vlog, you can click on this box right up here. Or if you remember I was talking about Rome's Colosseum, I did a vlog where I personified the Colosseum. And if you'd like to see that story, that's that link right down here. Or if you prefer, down below this video in the description, I've got links to, well, you know, really everything's right down there in the description below. Oh, hold on. Um, yep. My name's Audie. This is my name sign, ASL Power.